the Longhorn, a beast built perfectly for the Texas terrain. Shoulders stacked with muscle, hooves designed for marathon drives, and those trademark horns up to seven feet across, enough to keep any predator away. For centuries, the Longhorn thrived where few other cattle breeds could have, the stifling coastal prairie of South Texas. Brought to North America by Spanish settlers, the Longhorns adapted over 300 years to be durable and dependable, growing fat on Texas grass. The famous cattleman Charles Goodnight said, As trail cattle, Longhorns equal has never been known, and the Texas Longhorn and the Chisholm Trail would make a perfect match. The Chisholm Trail was like a natural highway that allowed huge numbers of South Texas Longhorns to be transported to the waiting rail cars in Abilene, Kansas. Joseph McCoy, one of its early promoters, extolled the Chisholm's natural virtues over any other trail. It is more direct, has more prairie, less timber, more small streams and less large ones, and altogether, better grass and fewer flies. This was the open plains, and there were always risks. Longhorns were good swimmers, but crossing the Brazos or Red River always required extra attention. A rainy stretch or a sudden gully washer could make a river surge, putting the entire operation in danger. Then there was every cowboy's worst nightmare, the stampedes. Sometimes something as simple as a thunderclap could send 2,000 or more steers into a deadly panic. But barring the stampede or rare bandit attack, the vast majority of Longhorns were delivered safely to market. Some herds arrived in Kansas after journeying nearly a thousand miles, fatter than when they'd left. And fat cattle meant fat profits.